Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll see what are the differences between flexible theme matrix method and stiffness matrix method. Uh, so before going to know the differences between flexible theme matrix and stiffness matrix methods, first of all, we have to know the definition of the stiffness and flexibility and what is the difference between stiffness and flexibility. Now, let us see the definition of stiffness and flexibility. Now, let us see the difference between the stiffness and flexibility first. So here, first know the definition of stiffness. So here the stiffness is uh, known as the resistance of an elastic body to deformation or deflection by an applied force means here it can be expressed as k that k is equals the ratio of force to deformation force to deformation here F by delta means the ratio of force to deformation means how much of force is required to produce unit deformation that is stiffness. This is the definition of stiffness. Now let us see the flexibility definition. Flexibility. So here the flexibility is exactly opposite to the stiffness. Means in the name itself says that stiffness means stiff, strong. And flexibility is nothing but flexible. Means easily changeable. So here this is exactly opposite to the stiffness. Here it can be expressed as F. So this flexibility F is equals to deformation by force. Here this is deformation by force. The ratio of the deformation to the force means how much of deflection is or deformation is created in an object by applying a unit force that is flexibility. So now let us take two uh, objects. For example, in stiffness matrix method, or uh, sorry, in stiffness method or in stiffness definition. So this is a object. In this object, this is the deformation and applying a force F. And this deformation is, if suppose this total deformation is 1 mm, Here, how to declare the material is less stiffness or more stiffness is nothing but if more force is required to produce a unit, definition, unit deformation, we called it as more stiffness. If in case less force is required to produce a unit deformation, we called it as less stiffness. So now here, this is one object. The deformation is 1 mm and the force is F. Now take another object here, same object. Uh, here the rectangular object. For this object, the same deformation. The deformation is 1 mm and the force is applying on this material. Yes. Now, here these two materials are same deformation but the force is different in the first object if suppose here i am applying 10 newton and here i am applying 20 newton means in the first object the less force is required to produce unit deformation it means less stiffness means here this k stiffness is equals force by deformation how much of force is applying 10 newtons and that is deformation is 
1 mm. This is 1 mm. So here the stiffness is 10 Newton mm. And coming to the second object, here the stiffness K is equal to the force is 20 Newtons and the deformation is same as it is the first object that is 1 mm. Now here you can see in the first object the less force is required to produce unit deformation. In the second object more compared to this first object more force is required to produce unit deformation. It means this material is more stiff more stiff compared to this first one. So in these two the first one is less stiffness and second one is more stiffness. Okay. So this is the less stiffness and more stiffness materials. Now coming to the flexibility. In the flexibility also you can take two different materials, two objects. Suppose uh, just a minute. Here this is uh, one object. And the deformation is this one. And here this is the force. And here this is another object. Here the deformation is more compared to the first one. Here the force is F. Now here in this flexibility matrix method the deformation in the first object is 1 mm. And in the second object the deformation is 10 mm. If suppose and the force on these two objects is I'm applying the same force on the first object 1 Newton and in the second object also the force is 1 Newton but the deformation is different. So here on this first object I'm applying 1 Newton the deformation is 1 mm. In the second object I'm applying the force as 1 Newton but the deformation is 10 mm. Means what you observe here is in the first object the less deformation means less flexible. In the second object here a deformation is more and flexibility is also more. Here you can see the flexibility also. Flexibility F is equals deformation by force 1 by 1. 1 Newton by 1 mm. And here this force F is equals the deformation is 10 and force is 1. So here this is opposite. Here the deflection is more. Means it is more flexible. And in this the deflection is less compared to the second object. Means less deformation. And less flexible. And here also this is more deformation. And more flexible. So here this is exactly opposite to the stiffness. So these are the definitions between stiff uh, and the differences between the stiffness and flexibility. Now let us see the differences between the flexibility matrix method and stiffness matrix method. Yes, these are the differences. Uh, in this, the first one is, the first difference between the flexibility matrix and stiffness matrix is, in the flexibility matrix method, the primary unknowns are redundant forces. And these unknowns are, can be found out by using the compatibility equation. And in the stiffness matrix method, the primary unknowns are joint displacement. And these joint displacements uh, can, uh, are finding out by solving the structures by using the equation of equilibrium and in flexibility matrix method it deals with the static indeterminacy of the structure and the stiffness matrix method is deals with the kinematic indeterminacy of the structure and in the flex the third difference between this flexibility and stiffness is in the flexibility matrix method it yields the displacement and forces directly but coming to the stiffness matrix method the displacements are not obtained directly. Here some other extra steps will be there to find out the displacements. And the fourth difference is here 
the flexibility matrix method is uses the method of deformation and this method is uses the slope deflection method and in the flexibility matrix method is also called as force method and also compatibility method also compatibility method and the next stiffness matrix method is also known as displacement method uh, and the last difference between the flexibility matrix and stiffness matrix is in the stiffness matrix method this method is more convenient for analyzing the small structures with few redundants coming to the stiffness matrix method it is more preferred for analysis of large and highly redundant structure and here uh, in flexibility matrix method uh, it is uh, hard and critical to program in computer softwares uh, so it is not used in professional practice but in stiffness matrix method is uh, easy to program in computer softwares and uh, it is widely used in professional practice also these are the differences between the flexibility matrix method and stiffness matrix method thank you <clears throat>